Today we will get to know an amazing group of musicians. Their name is So Percussion and they all play percussion instruments. Percussion instruments are musical instruments that are played by hitting, shaking or scraping. This group of four musicians will share with us a very special piece of music written 80 years ago by an American composer named John Cage. The name of the piece you are going to hear is Living Room Music. There are four parts in this piece, a bit like four chapters in a book. And today, So Percussion will play for you the second part, or as we call it in music, the second movement. As we listen to the beginning of this movement, performed by our guests, I would like you to listen carefully to them and to try to figure out which instruments they are playing. I'm sure you will be able to figure this out. Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time, a once upon a time, a time, a time, a once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, a once upon a time, a time, once upon a time, upon a time, upon a time, a time upon a time, upon a time upon a world, And it, and you could go on it, you could go, you could go, and you could go on it, and you could go on it, you could go on you. So, were they playing any instruments? Not really. They were using their voices. John Cage, the composer that wrote the piece you just listened to, took some words from a poem and put them in rhythm. Let's meet the members of So Percussion and learn how to make some music at home. Jason will start and you will get to meet the other ones later on. Hi, I'm Jason Truding from So Percussion, and I'm one of the four members here of our quartet that will be talking to you today a bit more about rhythm and about what we do. We are a quartet of four percussionists who are based in Brooklyn, New York. We've been playing together for uh, 20 years, over 20 years now, and we love doing what we do, and that is play music on all different kinds of percussion instruments. That can include drums, marimbas, vibraphones, steel drums. And then a lot of what we do is play on things you wouldn't necessarily think of as a percussion instrument. These can be called found sounds. So sounds that we find all around us. So today I am in my living room because the piece we would like to talk to you about is John Cage's living room music. And this piece was written about 80 years ago and the idea was that you would sit in your living room or you would recreate your living room on a stage and play only sounds that you could find around you. So for me, that includes an old newspaper I have here. I have some, some books and some pencils. I have my water from this morning and my cup of coffee. Uh, I also have some, some markers that my, my kids were using to make some drawings. Um, let's see, I have a remote control for, for my TV um, and I also have my voice. And so in this piece of music, John Cage asks you to, to play on things you find around you. And he also wrote one movement just for your voice. Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time. That's the rhythm, the once upon a time. So I could just play that on this book here. Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time. That's the rhythm that makes up the piece, right? But the way that you would kind of maybe move your body to that beat, maybe if there was a drummer playing, what the beat would be, that's the steady, the steady grouping of notes. The beat would be something like this. Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time. So that steady beat or pulse is what, what we mean by um, the word pulse, is that steady beat. And so we have rhythm, pulse, and beat, and then we have tempo. So let's use that same part that Adam started with to talk about tempo. So if you can imagine, this is the beat. Let's think about this as this is the, the speed that you're walking. So let's slow down how your feet are moving when you're walking down the street. And this would be the tempo. So let's say this would be a slow tempo to do living room music. Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time. And let's say we move back up to kind of like 
maybe we're fast walking or jogging down the street. Maybe this would be this beat. Once upon a time, a time, oh, once upon a time. And then we could really be running down the street where our feet's moving really fast. Once upon a time, a time, oh, once upon a time, oh, once upon a time, a time, a time, oh, once upon a time. That would be the fast beat, right? So the way we use these words is the tempo is the speed, right? The slow speed or the fast speed. And pulse or beat is the, the steadiness of how the music's happening. And rhythm is the way that these, actu these words sound within, within the beat. So that's how um, Once Upon a Time from Living Room Music um, exemplifies those ideas. And I wanna add one more vocabulary word to our day today, um, which is gonna be timbre. So I like to think of timbre in terms of what the sounds on my living room table sound like, right? Timbre is the way we would describe the way they sound. And this could be one easy way to talk about timbre. It could be high timbres or low timbres. Um, they could be bright timbres or dark timbres, right? So um, let's see what I have here. My coffee cup. I would say that feels high and maybe bright. What's something here? So the book against the book could be the lower, more mellow, darker sound. So the way we describe timbre is kind of, we can use some fun words. So let's see what the, the water glass... So the water glass, maybe it sounds bright and it's a glass. So sometimes people would say glassy, but it's not quite as high as this one, right? So the reason I'm mentioning timbre is that we're gonna take these words that we've been saying in living room music and figure out how to play them on some of the sounds we have around us. Let's listen to Adam, another member of the group, talking about his part in the piece. I actually get to be the person who says, once upon a time. Uh, which is the thing we're used to hearing at the beginning of any old tale or nursery rhyme or even I think in some of the Disney movies you've heard that phrase once upon a time. And what John Cage did in this piece is he took some of these words and he thought about what rhythm they sounded like when you just say them normally. So when I say once upon a time, John Cage thought that that rhythm would become da 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 da. And you wouldn't say once upon a time, you, you wouldn't talk like that normally. So you just take the normal way that you say it and you try to figure out what rhythm it is. And that could be really fun for you to do with all kinds of things that you hear. The other big one he does that you probably heard me say was round and around and around. So what he does with this one is he puts it into groups of three, round and around and around, one, two, three, one, two, three, one round and around and around. Now let's listen to Eric, the third member of the group, talking about his part in the piece. I'm one of the other members of Soap Percussion and I'm here in my living room and uh, I wanted to talk to you about one of the things in my part that's really cool. You might hear that one of the words I say often in my part is once and one of the cool things about that is the word once has one s, one s, one s. Uh, to me, it ends up sounding like one is sort of like boom, like a kick drum sound, boom. And the tss, one tss sounds like a little bit like a hi-hat or a snare. So it's a low, high, low, high. It's one of the things that has the most rhythm for the pulse and the beat in the piece. So when I hear one tss, one tss, one tss, to me, I feel like I'm kind of playing the drum set in the piece. So there's lots of different ways that you could play sounds like that in your living room. So I got a few different things here. I've got a pillow and some goobers, and you can hear, that's a nice low sound, and the goobers, it's a nice high sound. So once, 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 once. There's one example. Now, if you're okay with some quieter sounds, I've got a box of tissues here and a pair of scissors. So the box of tissues, we can hear, it's quiet, but it's low, and the scissors, so, once, once. And then, if we get even smaller, here I've got a box of crayons. Let me see. I've got a low sound there, and I've got a rubber band around it here. So, once, 
once, once. Oh, need to work on my rhythm. One more time. Once, 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 once. There's all kinds of ways that you can make this sound. My part consists of three sounds. I say the word time. And so for that, I thought I would substitute in this water bottle and I would hit it and I go time. My second sound is a whistle and I go which you probably heard in the recording, and what I found in my house was this old guitar tuner. So I'll blow into that for my whistle sound. And then for my last sound, I make sort of a buzzing B sound, a zzz or sss sound. So I thought I'd find something that rattled, and so I put popcorn kernels inside of a milkshake cup that my wife gave me. You can find an old coffee cup or paper cups uh, and put paper clips in them or dirt or anything that you might find that, that would rattle or shake like this. And those are going to be my three sounds. All right, over to Jason. To end our session today, we thought we would try a new experiment with this piece of music to show you how we can take these words and rhythms and turn them into sounds in our living room. Um, and kind of, this could be something you guys can try at home, taking some sounds of words, speech rhythm, and making music out of it. So we would love to play a version of story for you that starts by the four of us in so percussion speaking our parts, but also playing them on sounds we find in our living room. And then midway through the piece, we're gonna stop speaking at all and just play what the words sound like. And we thought it would be fun to invite some of our friends to join with us here. It's going to be uh, an instrumental version of living room music played from our nine different living rooms. Once upon a time, a time, a once upon a time, a once upon a time, a time, a time, a once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, a once upon a time, a time, once upon a time, upon a time, upon a time, a time upon a time, upon a time upon a world, 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 time upon a time, a time. Great! I had so much fun! I hope you had fun at home too.